Hello, and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays, a confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today, today we're going to work on our Thanksgiving drop assortment. Yes, we've sold out of the regular Thanksgiving assortment, and now it's time for the leftovers. I've always thought that with Thanksgiving, the leftovers were almost better than the feast itself. To that end, I always make a lot more food than I'm intending on eating in the evening just to make sure that the leftovers are good and plentiful. And in this case, we're making another assortment of similar flavors of the Thanksgiving feast. We're dropping one, we're adding buttered roll. The flavors are the same besides that. And we're going to do it on this drop roller. This one was made in 1871. And the roller itself came from a candy store, in this case, from a collection we acquired from Minneapolis. And it makes these great square chips. And while I'm making cranberry right now, we're selling it as an assortment of eight flavors. This is easily the most Willy Wonka thing I've done. And I love it. The pot that I just poured is a sugar solution. It's basically just hot sugar with the addition of some cranberry flavoring and some food coloring to make it look just right because you taste with your eyes before you taste with your mouth. But it's missing something, the tart of the cranberry. And for that, I need to add it with this white powder. And this is citric acid and this will give it that great tart that you expect when you have some freshly cooked cranberry sauce. Because I'm not a big fan of the stuff in the can but I am a big fan of the stuff that starts with cranberries, and that's what I'm trying to capture in this candy. If you notice, I poured this candy really thin to cool faster, and I did that because I added the food coloring in the pot, and all the water in the food coloring is already evaporated before I even put it on the table, so I didn't need to retain as much heat. But I still need to fold it again and again to even out the temperatures, and to evenly distribute the citric acid. But one of the neat things is, the citric acid is going to be distributed more randomly. I'm not pulling this candy. And because of that, every piece will taste just a little different. Close, but not precise. Something like, well, real cranberry sauce. When I let the candy drip onto the table, I'm actually doing something important. The parts that drip are the most molten, so I'm getting the hottest parts out of the candy and to the coolest place, the candy cooling table, and the cooler parts are gonna go on top. This really evens it out. Because this is such a heavy batch, I've cut it into two pieces. It's just making it more manageable for me. Everything I work with is either a heat sink or it's a heating source. In this case, the rollers are a heat sink. I put the candy in when it's still hot and it comes out cooler at the other end, trying to hold its shape. I gotta say, this is actually a deceptively difficult process to make work. I've always got people thinking that all I need is a machine to make this candy. And the reality is, I learned how to make image candy years before I got one of these machines, and I actually had to have somebody come over from another city and help me learn how to use the machine. Well, I didn't need that for the image candy. I've always thought these big strips of candy at this point look like very thin computer keyboards. But then again, maybe I'm just a geek. Have you ever wondered why drops are called drops? I mean like, you know, cough drops and fruit drops. Now you know.
This assortment has eight flavors, and part of the fun is, well, mixing them all together. And this is going to be the full course of a dinner, starting with ham and going to buttered roll and possibly cider to drink. You can find out the full flavor list and try this for yourself and order these for yourself at www.pd.net. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to try this candy for yourself, please go to our website, www.pd.net. And if you want to, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, if you like this video, click on the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications, and you'll find out when we post more. We do about one a week-ish. Also, if you're ever in Tallahassee, we're right off the Thomasville Road exit of I-10. Come and visit us. We make candy a lot. We don't make it all the time, and if you're lucky, you get to see us make candy. And of course, you can also listen to our podcast, which deep dives into a lot of candy topics and other topics of things that I do. And we have a Patreon account that you can go to and see that has a lot of benefits, including at certain levels, getting free candy with each order and getting the candy shipped on a rush basis. So thanks again for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.